Welcome to this video where we're gonna build, uh, we're gonna hack an RC car and then we're gonna put a Keytronic motor shield in it and then we're gonna control it with a micro bit. And we'll use a second micro bit to do the remote control. The first step uh, in this uh, exercise is to actually uh, make sure you turn off the, the power here and I've gone further, I can show you, I've actually removed all the batteries. I'm sure there's no power in there. Uh, that's step one. And then step two is gonna be to remove the cover, remove this cover from your RC car. They're all quite different. So you're gonna have to figure out which, uh, which crews you have to, to remove here. There's four here that I need to go and remove. Um, so we're gonna do that. You'll need a small uh, Phillips screwdriver. That, uh, But again, these cars are quite different when it comes to decoration. All right. I'll figure out who I missed here. I missed two. Looks like there's more. There's two more here. You might want to keep the screw. We might be able to put back the cover. Uh, maybe not, in which case we'll build a new one. All right. Uh, so now we see the inside of the, of the car. And typically these RC cars have uh, small DC motors, one in the back, one in the front. These give the torque. And then there's one DC motor that takes care of uh, the steering. So you can see that these two are together. So these are going to be your steering, your your motors to move forward and backwards. And this pair here is gonna be used for uh, the steering. So that's good to know. Um, and what else do we have in here? There's uh, cables sticking out here uh, from the battery area. So we're gonna start removing the, the PCB, so the card, and it may be different in other cards you're looking at. Um, so we're gonna uh, remove that. Uh, and there's all kind of stuff happening here. All right, so I'm gonna unplug these. Plug these. Plug these. Okay. And then we can see here that um, there's two cables, so I'm gonna cut those and get rid of the onboard electronics. Okay, so we got our power, let's leave that alone. We got our two motors that we're gonna to attach together and then we got the steering. So we need to prepare the cables so that we can attach them <coughs> to the motor shield and then the motor shield will go just, will just fit nicely like here. We'll probably use a zip tie or two. Maybe we try to, uh, no, we'll, we'll use zip ties. Uh, along the edge here to uh, to attach it. Okay, so first step, uh, first thing first, we're gonna cut the cables, uh, strip them, so that we can uh, attach them to the edge connector. I need my cable stripper here. You can use if you don't have a cable stripper, you can also do it. I'll try to. This is the tricky part. Go. It's definitely easier with a cable stripper, trimmer. But you can also do it with the with the wire cutter as well. Okay, so I want to make sure we don't forget about that one. <clears throat> I want to put a bit of tape. So I remember that's my that's my steering motor. I don't want to confuse the two. And the cables are disconnected. Okay, uh, you know, we keep stripping everything. All right, same for that.
and we'll see maybe we have to to do more work on the cables all right so our motors and then we got power supply here uh, so we have uh, this case <coughs> it's a six volt uh, power supply oops wrong uh, wrong size here let's take this one and from the looks of it let's see on this side this is the positive the negative the positive side on here so positive side is here and then so we're gonna have positive here and then negative here all right and you might want to use a voltmeter to make sure if you're lucky they They've used red and black cables, but they didn't on, on this case. Okay, so we got our cables and we're gonna start attaching them. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and start attaching those. So that's my positive, that's my negative. Uh, and then you can see it's clearly marked on the edge connector, minus, plus. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in and you'll need a flat screwdriver in this case. Good, and screw it real tight. Second one here, it's a bit long. Go. Yeah. So sometimes it doesn't open enough, so you wanna kind of push it in with the screwdriver and get it in. All right, so power is, and again, don't forget, remove the batteries while you're working on this, um, just to avoid any kind of, of incidents while you're reviewing the circuit. Okay, so the next one would be these two motors. Now, the, the idea is that we're gonna, because we only have two motor controls on, on this motor driver, and that's typical, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna put them together. They're just gonna move the same speed then we're gonna use uh, the second one for the steering. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thread them together. Um, just like that. And see, I might have to cut a bit of that casing. Maybe not. Right? Well, okay, let's try maybe to get them into the board. Okay, let's get rid of Get rid of the casing here, get a bit more space. And that didn't work out. That was not what I wanted to do. So now we're in a bit of a trouble here. Just not cut too much on the second run. So yeah, I probably need a better See if I can use this stripper right here. Mm. All right. Okay, perfect. And now I can strip the end get a bit more wiggle room to work with. All right, and the second one. Okay. So hopefully there's still, otherwise we'd have to use another cable. So that's the, the part where we attach them together and then we put them into the board. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use motor one. So I'm gonna put that into this hole, get it open. Let's get those two cables. Actually, turn that around, it's gonna be easier. And 
put it in, hold it tight while you're Okay, nope. Escaped. Let's try again. Thread them. These cables are a bit short. It makes my life a bit harder. But with a bit of patience, We'll get it done. All right, yeah, nice and tight. So that's one set of cable. And now we're gonna attach the two positive cables here. And we're going to thread them and we're going to attach them on the second port on that motor. I'm going to open up, place them in. Patience, patience, eventually get it in. All right, so we got our two sets of motor connected here and then we're gonna have the second, uh, the driver motor that's also gonna go on its own. And then once we have that, we're pretty much done with the physical hacking and we can work on the software. I'm using the, okay. Slide it in. Okay, and the second end. Okay, we got our two motors connected. We got a power connected. We're gonna secure, so if you have some zip ties, it's gonna to be too short, I'm gonna use a, gonna use a longer one. Or you can actually put two zip ties together. Let's see, this one might just work. I'm gonna put one zip tie here. Through right the middle. Nice and tucked. Go ahead and cut this. I don't think we'll be able to put back the cover because uh, the micro bit is going to be in the way. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll build a new cover uh, in cardboard later on. But this is ready, so we're going to... Oh, that was an unforeseen issue with the zip tie, so we're going to have to find a better system. Let's put the batteries uh, first, and then we'll put the zip tie on top in a way that doesn't block this. So we're gonna probably have to go the other way around. Let's see. Maybe through here. Or this way. 
or maybe we can screw the board into one of the holes that's still available seems that we don't have so many options here all right so we're gonna um we'll probably end up using elastics um but for now it's good enough to experiment uh so let's put back the batteries very convenient on off switch so that's very nice uh, and we're ready to do the coating